Hello mate, welcome back. In this video we're going to carry on with our game engine. The first thing we want to do is we're going to just add a couple of screens. So what I want to do in my scripts folder is I'm going to add a new folder. And I'm going to call it screens like that. And then I'm going to create a new file inside that. And I'm going to call it main UI dot RPY. Which is perfect. And now what I want to do is create a screen and I'm going to call it main UI like that. And that's going to be the screen that the rest of the game uses as its user interface, which is nice and simple. So what I want to do now is I'm actually going to create another new file and this one's going to be called BG image RPY. And inside this one, I'm going to call this uh, screen bg underscore image I'm going to give image a capital I just for the sake of my OCD cool beans so this is the image that's going to display whatever is meant to be displayed in the background of the screen and this should be a fairly simple um, it's a fairly simple thing so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a new thing I'm going to call it bg string equals bg uh, str underscore chapter and that's going to be something that we create in our classes when we come back to that in a minute and then we're just going to simply say add bg str that's all we're doing with that screen nice and simple so now if we go into our classes file which is going to be here we can now use this to define what that variable actually is. So we're going to say define bgstr underscore chap like that. I'm going to terminate that one there. So what we need to do now is we now need now now need to create some variables. So in our variable defines, what we can do is we can type in default location and let's just say that our default location is uh, bedroom right now and we need a chapter and a sequence number so we're going to say default chapter equals one we're in chapter one of our story and we're going to say default sequence so we're on the sequence within the chapter is going to be zero the first item inside chapter one like so so we've got that we're cool we can just control s that and we'll save it now we come back to our class and we're going to just tap in there so we need to do global and that's not how you spell global is it and we're going to say global location so we're going to reference that variable we're also going to reference our chapter and we're also going to reference our uh, sequence our sequence of events so now this is where we start doing some things that you haven't seen me do in previous um, okay, Let's Code seasons. And we're going to create some conditional statements in here that are going to impact what is actually output. So the first thing we want to do is set up a variable. So we're going to say output string equals, and then we're going to create a folder later on called backgrounds. And then inside that folder, we're going to have uh, like this dot jpeg and then we're going to type in dot format and then in brackets we're going to say location chapter sequence like so and then so what we've basically done is we've said we're going to go to backgrounds folder and then we're going to look for the location so in this case it would be bedroom underscore one underscore zero and then it will just replace these curly brackets with these variables in that order makes life a lot easier i think you will find next thing we're going to do is we're going to say if renpy.loadable and then we can just stick this value in there like that colon at the end of it if that is actually a file if that file exists then we're going to return it as our output nice and simple right but what happens if that doesn't exist my heart next stage so we're now going to copy all of this junk here Control c Control v 
This time we're going to remove sequence from the equation, like so, which is fine. So now we've already checked. The first thing we want to check is, is there a background image specific to this location for this exact chapter and sequence inside the chapter? So if I'm on chapter one, sequence two, and there's something very specific in this background image, like maybe the building's on fire, maybe the car's been stolen, something like that then it will play load that one but if there isn't a specific one then it will look for a background image for our location specific only to that chapter fine what happens if there isn't one available for that chapter well you guessed it then it's going to look for one that is only specific to the location and there should definitely be a image file for that however if there isn't then we'll just simply return backgrounds background dot jpeg which is going to be a default file with like a rainbow pattern or something on it that just simply is like a placeholder image so what we've done here is we've checked for the sequence specific image if there isn't one then we look for a chapter specific image we need to delete sequence from that bracket there if there isn't a chapter specific image then it just looks for a location specific image and if there isn't one of those then it's going to show us a default image perfect exactly what we need it to do save that so now the first thing that happens in our main ui is that we're going to use and we need to come back to our BG image and we're just going to double click on that control C and we're going to control V that in, in there basically. Cool. I think that about wraps it up for this episode. We're going to do this in real drips and drabs so that you guys have a chance to figure these things out for yourselves and kind of wrap your head around what we're actually achieving. So let me know what you think in the comments below anyway. I look forward to seeing your comments. Subscribe, like, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.